Now, World's Age Day is held on the 1st of December everywhere around the world, and it's an opportunity to unite in the fight against HIV. You can show your support for the people living with HIV and commemorate people who have died simply by purchasing a red ribbon or wearing the colour red. Stephen Humphreys interviews Wendy Jarrett as part of a charity who helps those affected by the disease AIDS. It's called SOLAR. World AIDS Day is about commemorating and remembering people who have um, had HIV and AIDS and have died, but also remembering there are a lot of people who are living with HIV and, you know, living kind of passionate and healthy lives. And we're also using it as a way to kind of, this year, to raise awareness and try and reduce, get people thinking about reducing the stigma of HIV. Solar is um, a small community charity based in Northamptonshire. It supports people living with HIV and AIDS around the county and beyond. Um, when I say those affected by, because it's also family members that HIV impact on, carers and so forth. So well, Solar was uh, initially sort of started by the clients. Um, a number of people in Northamptonshire who were diagnosed with HIV were looking to come together. Uh, probably initially it was all about sort of coming together to support each other, to find out more. So there were regular sessions with specialists to talk about the virus and, and medication and also the symptoms and what would happen. Um, and then there became more activities involved social activities as well as things which would help people um, enhance the quality of their life and help them live with HIV. So what is HIV? Um, HIV is, is the precursor to AIDS, although I should sort of put a caveat on that because um, certainly in the last sort of 10-15 years the medication that is the antiviral antiretroviral medication that is around and that people who are living with HIV take and all the other changes in the not just the medication regime but generally in well-being and the way people now kind of really embrace ways to look after themselves um, means that there are very few people who move to full-blown AIDS which is great really. How can it be cured? Well there, there is no cure for it as such um, certainly not yet, and, and there continues to be a lot of work around uh, the virus and identifying ways that um, that you know we may kind of regress it. But certainly, in terms of that, the medication has moved on massively, probably more so than in against any other kind of health issue. If you think about the treatment, you know, when I first got involved in in uh, HIV awareness, which was over 20 years ago when the first World AIDS Day happened, um, I was involved with um, doing stuff in Bedford um, as a youth worker and it was about going into places, into universities and talking about safe sex and doing games with students and getting students involved in doing uh, arts activities around HIV to raise awareness about it. You know, and that's st at that stage in both in America and in um, England, people were dying from AIDS. Um, it's, as I say, it's now pretty rare, especially if people have the opportunity to kind of uh, get diagnosed fairly early. So that's some of the stuff that Solar is also involved with, as well as supporting people who are living with and affected by HIV. We also, are a big challenge for us is around um, reducing transmission across the county. So it's about informing people about safe sex, about alternatives to um, sexual encounters, um, and about kind of enjoying life and making sure that they stay safe. Uh, we're run by volunteers and we currently have uh, almost no funding. We all do different fundraising activities throughout the year. Um, in fact, here's one of them. That's so our penny pot and we encourage people to just have a, a jam jar and fill it up with pennies, loose change. It all, because as we say, every, every penny counts and it really does in the charity, whether that's helping with um, provide, uh, pay for the rooms for social events. We have the support that we can offer to our clients are uh, there's one-to-one -one support um, from uh, a specialist and and Martina is a volunteer whose background is in personal development but also she's undertaken debt management and because one of the things that we find when people are initially diagnosed unfortunately quite often it's when they have actually become ill 
um, and that you know they've got something that you know it could be bronchitis or something that they can't shake off. They go to doctors, they have blood tests, um, and that's when they discover that they have the HIV virus. So they're already ill, and that may already mean that they've not been able to work. Um, sometimes it can be much more severe than that because um, uh, the virus can affect, and it does. It, there is no set pattern. It affects people differently because all of our immune systems are different. And some people could perhaps um, contract the virus and be infected and be living with it for many, many years. I mean, that, that's why the message around safe sex is so important because you may have it and do and certainly one of the other messages we're getting, trying to get across to, to young people in particular is not just the safe sex messages, but particularly around leading up to the festivities because everyone kind of has a good time and maybe kind of, you know, isn't necessarily thinking all the time about their own personal and sexual health. And so we want to get those messages across. We want to um, raise awareness about the opportunity for testing, both for HIV and for chlamydia. Um, a lot of the barriers around that have gone. And in Northampton this year, we're really, really lucky because we have um, sexual health teams at the Summers Unit and over in Kettering that are second to nurse. And they're a great bunch of, of nursing staff and doctors, and they really do make a difference to how pe the quality of people who are living with HIV's lives in Northampton. Wendy Jarrett then from uh, the charity called Solo speaking to Stephen Humphreys. And if you'd like to get in touch or find out more, you can do that by visiting their website, which is www.solargroup.org.uk or by sending them email at admin at solar at btconnect.com. So we'll be involved with this Borough Council event at midday. I've been told as well, Nigel. Yeah. At midday at Borough Council, there's a big event happening.